Hi everyone, this is Nathan here, and today we're making Vampire's Kiss. Let's get started! Soap time! Woo woo woo! Alright, so we are making, like I said, Vampire's Kiss. And I have my lye solution here, which is a 33% lye solution. That's the one I tend to like to use. And the scent for today we're using is Temptation from Nurture Soap. It is one of the best behaving fragrances I have ever used. And it's definitely in my like top 10. So when I need my design to be very fluid, which I do need it to be like so fluid, um, uh, that's what we're going with. So, as you can see, I've got my lye poured in, and I, I've sped this video up a little bit, and I normally, what I do is, I do these head counts to, like, kind of get an idea of where my emulsion's at, because with my recipe, it's it's about 40 seconds of stick blending to get to, like, the right emulsion for me that doesn't cause issues with, like, soda ash later. So, um, obviously, this is sped up, but... It's about 40 seconds for me, uh, so that could be a little tip for you. If you find the right emulsion state for you to um, maybe do like head counts, to just kind of give you a general idea about where you're at, um, I think that's really useful. So one thing I also like to do is I like to stir my batter a little bit, and you can see I'm going to put in the temptation here. I like to stir my batter a little bit to just release any air bubbles and kind of let it set, but... Sometimes when you add the fragrance too, that also sort of like breaks things up because the fragrance, particularly this one, it like thins the batter out a lot. So any like bubbles that were stuck are like brought up to the surface. So I'm just pouring off some of these colors here and let me know in the comments if you find the like making of the soap to be like useful. I could go right into the pores so I think sometimes people, like, most people know how to make soap who are probably watching this video. And so I'm not really providing any, like, major specifics here. So, you know, you can bypass a good 15 <laughs> minutes of making soap if you want. Um, and we just get to the more exciting part, right? So I am using activated charcoal here, and I typically add a little bit of black iron oxide as well, uh, but I didn't in this one. I just added a little bit of extra uh, activated charcoal than I normally would. Um, and I'm going to set this off to the side, and the reason I wanted the batter super fluid today is because we're going to be putting it into a squirt bottle soon. And so that's sort of how we create the Vampire's Kiss design. Um, we wanted blood to look like it was like dropping through black. And actually, I picked up this design, I think, a few years ago when I was just watching YouTube videos. I saw, I believe, Tree Marie or um, Terry at Tree Marie Soaps. She was like doing a drop swirl sort of, I guess, guide. And she was using a squirt bottle with black to sort of lay down a really like thin layer and then pouring through it. So like it sort of outlines whatever you're going to drop swirl through it. So I did that with the red today. And as you can see, I this is the first time I've ever used a squirt bottle for making soap um, because I'm all about convenience when it comes to making soap. And I'm like, I am not cleaning that bottle. Um, but, and I actually tried to put like, I know people said, put the plastic inside, but I did not have any good bags for like putting inside this bottle. So I just poured it in and it was fine. It worked. It worked totally perfect. <laughs> so now I'm just trying to lay down a very, very thin layer of black on top of this. And the reason I'm using the squirt bottle is I want it to not break through because this batter is like super thin right now. And so I'm just trying to lay down a thin layer of black so that when I pour through, I'll get it, I'll get my red or the, the color that you're pouring through to be like outlined. So I am really excited uh, at this point to be like, what's it going to look like? Is it even going to work? And I'm um, a little too excited because my uh, 
hat gets in the way. I need to remember that when I'm filming, too, to sometimes maybe take off my hat because <laughs> my hat's like, welcome to the party. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm just going to be doing little drop swirls of the red through the black and the batter super thin. So the drop swirls are actually going pretty far down to the bottom. If I had, you know, controlling trace and controlling um, the thickness of your batter is like, that's like advanced level soaping and being able to always can like have the right consistency for each type of like design you're doing can be really challenging. And so I would say the batter for this was slightly too thin, but as I go along, it, it sort of gets a little thicker. So I, I can't pour it too late. Um, and so because it's really thin, it kind of drops to the bottom and it breaks like the cool like drop swirl. But you'll see later the design turned out gorgeous. So it worked out just fine. Um, so I just keep adding the black layer on and I had, I think I had to fill up my bottle here and it was just a guess of how much I needed because, uh, as I get later on, I'm like, oh, I think I have too much black. And so I have to just like lay on the final layer. And so it, it worked out okay though. So lots and lots and lots of, I remember thinking to myself, this is like a 45 minute video and temptation you're rocking it right now because if i was using another fragrance right now it would be so uh maybe not at this point but later on it would be like super thick so um one of the things about using the squirt bottle is i think sort of like soap dough is when it doesn't your soap doesn't have access to air it stays thinner longer and so I felt like the batter that was inside my uh, squirt bottle was a little bit thinner than everything else, which was fine. Okay, so I think I'm at this point now where I'm just trying to cover up the red because I'm done with the drop swirls. And so I'm like, I've got a little bit of black. I just need to put on as good of a black layer as I can. And I feel like I probably at this point, it worked out okay at this point maybe I should have stopped. Like, well, if I was to do this design again, like, stop and wait for this to set up. Because I kind of lost a little bit of my layer when I do this white pour over. It looks cool. It looks fine. But it wasn't like a crisp layer of what I was thinking. And so, you know, pouring soap on top of other soap, um, especially when the batter is really thin, can be really challenging. And I am not the greatest at, I would say, pouring white or not necessarily white, but uh, other creating layers on top of soap that hasn't already set, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm like really uncoordinated here trying to pour uh, this white on top of here. And because the batter is so thin, it's like pushing uh, my black around, uh, which is fine. Like I said, if I was to redo the design, I think I would wait for the black to set up and maybe make like two batches because uh, the white would have set up while waiting for the black to set up. So uh, sometimes when making layered soaps, I would make two batches. So I'll make one, lay it down, wait for it to set up, and then make the second uh, batch because that's the only way you're going to be able to get like really clean layers sometimes. Um, I know some people are actually really good at doing layers um, and really like I could have theoretically poured off like my lye mixture like before I stick blended it like but still stirred it up and had it just sitting off to the side and it can take a really long time for things to come to trace. Um, so if that was confusing to you... Um, <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> Hopefully you got what I was saying. But anyways, okay, I've got the white on. And I'm just trying to cover up the black here. And then we're going to draw on the top of the soap. I've never actually drawn on top of soap before like this with the squirt bottle. And I was actually, this is what, it was kind of a combination. I was like, I'm going to use a squirt bottle because I want to try this technique where I'm like outlining 
some drop swirls. And I knew I wanted to do it for this design because I was doing it to make it look like blood dropping. And then I was like, well, also I'm going to use this as an opportunity to like draw on top. So I was like knocking out multiple birds um, with one stone. So the batter, as you can see, is really thin here. So I actually, it was almost like a, I felt like I almost needed to work like I was doing a pointy layer of soap. Like I almost have to be moving before pouring. Um, but I'm like, for the first time doing this, like super pleased <laughs> with how I was able to lay down these lines. Um, I was mostly afraid of, you know, when you use a squirt bottle, like ketchup, I was afraid of it like splattering out. And so I, I wasn't pressing very hard. And then there, <sighs> I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Like my squirt bottle, like I got, I was like, look, let's just dump our squirt bottle right in the soap. Um, <laughs> I like bumped into it. So I was like going on, I was like, okay, I need to pour from a little bit higher, which made it a little bit harder to like gauge where things were happening. And then all I can see this whole time is like, I see that spot I messed up on because I guess when you're a perfectionist, you always want things to be a little bit better. And then you just like always focus on the negative. But at this point, I'm like, there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm just going to pour the rest of this and I'm going to see what else I can potentially do. And so I stop for a second and I'm like, okay, well, I've got a little bit of this black still that like is sort of like smudged in the white. So I'm going to like, it's like really irritating me at this point. And so um, like, I'm just going to try and like blend it into the white. And you know how white, how well that works when you try and blend black into white. It turns into gray. Um, <laughs> not the best idea. Um, but uh, also just trying to make, you know, a web. Because I looked earlier in the day, I was like, okay, webs sort of have this like, they're connected like all over the place, not necessarily at like even points. And so I just started trying to make a web. And then I went over some of these spots here that I thought were a little bit um, lighter than I would like them to be. And the whole time I'm doing this, I'm like, I'm totally gonna drop something. Like a little drop is gonna end up dropping onto the white because that's just how soap works, but it didn't. All right, we're blending out the white. We're trying to make it not, uh, or we're blending out the, we're trying to make that little black mistake go away. And so I was sitting here thinking, well, how can I cover it up? And then I was like, well, I'll just make a spider here. And because spider obviously needs to go on the web. And so I kind of <laughs> used the spider as a way to cover up my shame, cover up my shame. Um, and here in a second, I actually, because the video was sped up so much, well, it's actually only two times. Not too bad. I actually step away for a while to, like, go look at how, like, full disclosure, how a spider looks and its legs work. Because <laughs> I was like, I think they go forward and backwards. And so uh, I think this is the delay. I, like, go into the other room and just start looking up, like, what a spider looks like. And so, all right, I'm back. And so I'm like, okay, I've got an idea. There's just like the front body. Um, and then there is the eight legs or the front body, like the back, like big body and then the legs. And so as I'm pouring this, I'm like, don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Is there even space? Is it going to get like hidden or like lost with the other spider web? Because I'm just doing like the same color, but it turned out okay. I really like how the spider turned out. And um, for a first time drawing with a squirt bottle, and let's just say I am not in, I'm going to put an emphasis on this. I am not an artist when it comes to like drawing with like pen and paper or pencil or whatever. My brother, Eric, like can like visualize things and just like, draw something in like two seconds i'm like okay we're playing pictionary <laughs> and i'm using like weak 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 uh lines okay so here's the top loved it great and then we steamed the top the next day because i had a little bit of soda ash because when you've got a really really thin fragrance 
or thin batter, I feel like you get more soda ash. So, and here's the little slicey poo. And then as I'm getting ready to cut this, I'm like, it's okay. And then as I get a little bit farther in there, I'm like, oh, I like this a lot. It's just not what I envisioned. And so, because I envisioned it to be like more like very like specific uh, like blood drops. But the overall effect was very, 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 very cool. I loved it. And then here we're doing a little pan over because why not? And then there's the final product. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Bye.